Hello everyone. Uh, today we have got a candidate who had admitted to University of Toronto in a master's program. She was here for the collection of a visa. So I thought it would be a good, great platform for the students who wish to get into this top rated University of Canada. So here she is. She is Bisman Lehel. She is from Chandigarh and she has been admitted to the master's program. Bisman, congratulations. Thank you, sir. It was all your hard work that you got this visa. Right. Yes. And admission, top of it. So, you know, we have got a YouTube channel. So, on YouTube channel, a lot of people, they follow us. Right. There happen to be a lot of candidates in the market who want to take admission to University of Toronto. Right. Okay. So, what are the stages that they should look forward to? What are the things they should be, you know, very much be, you know, into it so that they get into it. And uh, they even get the dream come true as if like you. Right. Okay. Please guide them. Huh? Hello everybody, I'm Bisman Lehel. I'm from Chandigarh itself. So I'll give you a brief uh, summary of how I applied to the University of Toronto. I'll be going for the Masters in Chemical Engineering program and a brief uh, short up that I did my Bachelor's in Chemical Engineering itself from Punjab University. So while filing my application, firstly, I was a bit nervous and I did get a lot of anxiety attacks uh, during the past entire one year because it is really a bit challenging because applying for the application, you not only need the academic uh, good standing, but also the extracurriculars matter a lot. So in my application, it was not only the uh, DMC or the grades or the CGP which mattered, that of course was the icing on the cake. But apart from that, I was also part of a lot of sports activities, MUNs, debates. So that's also one thing that you can make sure to keep a part of your application. And then I visited Globus for my visa application. And firstly, I would like to thank Neeraj sir for the smooth and hassle-free process. And it was taking a lot of time for the visa to come. I did not expect that because I applied to the University of Toronto, which is definitely one of the best universities in the world and ranked number one in Canada. So I thought my visa should be here like another 15 days or 20 days after applying. But it did take it time. Uh, it took almost like three months, but I'm happy it's finally here and I'll be joining the graduate cohort this September. I also wish that if you can share uh, the, the experience that your DMC was still pending, maybe that could be one of the reasons that the visa decision got delayed. Yeah. So uh, that. when I applied for my visa application in May, I was still to appear for my final semester examinations that were to be held in June. And the result definitely had to come out in July, mid-July. So that was one of the reasons why the visa process took so much time because my degree was not completed as yet and also it was conditional. The offer letter was also conditional and it was based on the fact that only if I clear my final degree, uh, final uh, semester with a particular percentage, I'll be admitted. So that was one of the reasons why my process got a bit delayed. Okay, let me add one more point here. If in case you're applying for any sort of visa to by, by taking admission at any of the university, you make sure that the offer letter, the admission letter that you have is an unconditional letter. We requested the university that if you can apply our visa on the basis of this conditional letter, uh, there are high probability of visa refusal. So what they did is they mentioned some technical lines onto it that will be accepting this student unconditionally, though they mentioned that condition, but in some diplomatic manner and which actually uh, worked for us. So right. this is how it happened. So if in case anybody who is watching this video planning to apply the visa unconditional or a conditional, so please check this condition on your uh, letter of acceptance and then go ahead for this. Bisman, too much wait. <laughs> Finally, the wait is over and uh, very much congratulations to you from the whole team of Globe is over. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for watching this video. Bisman, what shared in this video uh, could be very important for a lot of students. So at whatever, you know, uh, social media platform you have been watching a video, I request and suggest to please share it so that anybody could be helped from your side. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.